Hello, I'm Paul Deitch, founder of Elastic Steel Method of Athletic Condition. I'd like to answer another question today. The question has to do with the horse stance. If you've seen my previous videos, you've seen me demonstrate the horse stance with toes forward and toes out 45 degrees. So this was a horse stance toes forward. This was horse stance toes out 45 degrees. Okay. Now the question is what happens when the toes are out 180 degrees away from each other? Is there any combat value and is there any training value? Well, I don't know if there's a combat value to it. I don't see any. Maybe there's, there is. Just not in the styles that I've been training from the point of combat. From the point of training, there's value. But you have to have a good flexibility in your adductors first. Okay? And then the value comes later. If you have no flexibility in your adductors and you try to get your toes out 45 degrees, you're probably going to have your knees forward because the adductors are going to pull them in, okay, and you're going to be standing like this. So you might as well take those toes and move them more forward. There's no value. If you have your side split, or if you have the hook position, then there's a value. And the value here is you have the flexibility to begin with, but you may not have the strength, the strength to hold that position. In other words, you do a side split, Okay, and from the side split, when you sit up, your toes or your legs begin to creep forward. Okay, so in this position, you can hold your legs down 180 degrees. Okay, so you know you have the flexibility, maybe with applied pressure. You come up, you cannot sit with your legs out 180 degrees, they begin to pull in. Okay, so if you have strength in the back of your body, gluteus max and gluteus medius minimus and the outward rotators, they will be able to hold the legs out, okay, till this muscle is relaxed through reciprocal inhibition or through relaxed stretching, okay. So here, if you hold this position and you have the flexibility and the knees begin to collapse, you use your glutes to pull them apart, okay. Keep your body vertical, the knees go in, pull them apart, pull them back. Doing that will allow you to drop down to the split, sit on the split without your leg being pulled forward. And with time you'll have the split by itself. Okay? Good luck training.